Hey, Sarai. What's up, man? How's it going? Just hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. What's going? What are you, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out triangles, but I have no idea. Can you uh, help me, dude? I can totally help. Awesome. Let me tell you about some special triangles. Don't need that anymore. Hello. Um. So triangles. One very special triangle that you need to know about on the GMAT um, can be derived from a square. And so we're going to start here with a square. And to make a triangle, it's very simple. Um, we can divide it from uh, A to D. And now what we have is two triangles. And so actually, I'm going to make this easier and just get rid of this part of it so we can just focus on Sherratt's favorite triangle. And since we were dealing with a square, I know that each angle is 90 degrees. Um, so that's gonna be 90. And then we just divided an angle on half here and here. So now um, this is gonna be 45 degrees. And this is gonna be 45 degrees. So now we have something really interesting here. Um, two things of note, one, since this was a square, both sides are equal. So this side is equal to this side. And the, this angle is equal to this angle. That is the definition of an isosceles triangle. Now this is a very special isosceles triangle because it was derived from a square and thus a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So that's what they're talking about when they say 45, 45, 90 are the angles, 45, 45, and 90. I'll write that right here. Great. Now what we want to do is figure out, um, which we often have to do, one of the sides. So um, let's say in this square that this side was 1 and this side was 1, just to keep things simple. And we can figure out the side AD using the Pythagorean theorem. Does anybody remember the Pythagorean theorem? I know somebody out there does. I can hear you. Oh, yes, yes. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Very well done. So um, the A and the B, that is our side, and C is going to be the hypotenuse, which is this. And so we're just going to plug in what we have. We have 1 squared plus 1 squared equals, and here I'll just put the side AD, AD squared. So now 1 squared is 1, and 1 squared is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. I know this is tough math. Stick with me. And so we have 2 equals AD squared, and then to get rid of the square root, we need to, uh, or excuse me, to get rid of the square, we need to take the square root. So then we end up with AD equals square root 2. Awesome. So now we know uh, this side. And so another thing that we know about an isosceles triangle that is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle is that the two sides potentially could equal 1 and then the hypotenuse is square root 2. But we can take this and generalize it and say that if um, 1 is not 1, but let's say it's x, that would make this x. And the only thing we need to do over here is put an x right there. And then we have a very easy way to deal with the sides and hypotenuse of this 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So um, it's important to know this aspect, the sides and the hypotenuse, so x, x, and x square root 2. Um, but it's also important to remember how to get here. A lot of the um, math on the GMAT rewards you for knowing how to derive things and how to manipulate uh, different shapes and different formulas. It doesn't reward students who just sit there and memorize the formula because a lot of the harder questions um, at the higher level of the test are really testing your ability to manipulate uh, uh, these mathematical concepts and not just see if you can plug in numbers into a formula. So hopefully this helped you understand uh, this special triangle and make sure that you can derive this information on your own and not just memorize a formula. And I think Sharap might understand it a little bit better and maybe some people out there. So 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, we're very happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, I'll be here every Tuesday talking about GMAT stuff. Um, so I'll see you next Tuesday. Be excellent to the universe.